Mm -hmm. No, we're getting forceful with it, okay? Because mm -hmm. I'm sure when everybody witnesses that video, I can't <laughs> wait to put my name and number out there. Right? They'll be right? like, what I'm are they doing, Jen? Exactly. I'm pretty sure yeah. that's what we're going to get. Which I don't don't, my name tech known. Don't, don't worry. I yeah, promise I'll I put it in the description. They are qualified. Yeah, yeah <laughs> there you go. Can I poke around? Yeah. Okay, you let me know if you think I'm doing too as much. As soon as Almost we definitely. get to where we want exactly, I want to show you. Yes, please. Okay, so here, right, Ellie, this is the bottom of his ribs. Yep. So the bottom okay. of the ribs are technically what we call, right, the thora thoracic 10, 11, 12. So it's the transition where the thoracic spine meets the lumbar spine, right? Yeah. And you can see, I mean, look at the the curve there, right. right? The curve there needs to definitely get more mobile, Lauren. Well, I constantly have a vibration pin, like my foot's like this almost. So the left one. Yeah, and then once it get once the pain gets really bad, like when my narcotics wear off, I guess, uh, then I get like a hard right cramping feeling in my left thigh, my right thigh. So it's right thigh or left foot. Yeah. Is that what I'm hearing? Mm -hmm. Okay, can you lay on your other side? Yeah. I want to see how well you can roll back on this side. And I want you to tell me as we're kind of doing this, are we spiking anything anywhere? Mm -mm. Does it feel different rolling you this way than the other way? No, it feels about the same. Yeah. Okay, flip it over again. Like he's really that much different, no. right? Great. How about belly? What can you do on your belly? Let's see if you can. Yeah. A little more, a little bit. yeah. Okay. When we put you in this position, Lauren, what what are you feeling? It feels normal to me. This I sit up all the time. Yeah. So you don't feel symptoms in those areas. I mean, I still feel the left uh, vibration in the left foot, just not as bad. Yeah, that left foot is. Still talking to you. Mm, we're a little bit below baseline. Okay. If I give you pressure. Right there is making it go up to baseline. Increase still? No, it's back to where. Just it's regular where we started. So today. this is more mm. comfortable. Yeah. What about that? Increase worse? Decrease. So this is more comfortable. Mm -hmm. And when I'm hitting this spot here, what is the effect on the left foot? It's more, like when you let go, it goes back up when you go. When you so if I down. hold the pressure. What's happening when she's holding that pressure? I have no symptoms. So the left foot's gone? Yeah. Oh, so you got a driver. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But in order for him to get the maximum benefit, we're going to have to move him from the bottom up. Okay. So what I And that's going to be tricky. All right, what's that like, brother? <laughs> Feels intense. <laughs> yeah. Intense where the pressure is, intense in the legs. Where the pressure is, okay. but the um in the left leg, it's like almost gone completely, but okay. it's not. No, it's in the same place, but the irritation's gone down a little. All right, bit. we're going to give it a minute. Right. And you're going to tell me in a minute if anything's changed. Okay. okay. All right, I babbled for about a minute and 20. It's like a little bit below baseline, but not Hasn't much. changed yeah. in much. Okay. She's going to pressure on, pressure off. Is that all right? Yeah. Okay, so do you feel that pressure increase? Feels like it decreases. Which part? In the sensation. <laughs> yeah, it definitely feels better. Okay, this is what you call more force. This yeah. is what you call moving the inferior segment on the superior segment. Mm -hmm. Active her giving you more force like that on the leg. When, when she pushed down, the sensation went away almost completely. Mm -hmm. What's the leftover? Did the leftover, like what you're left with right now, in any way change? Back to baseline. Back to baseline. Mm -hmm. So basically, her holding that right gone. there, gone. We're going to stay now. Okay, we're going to stay. Left, right, what's so. it like after she she takes off after giving you a sustained force like that? It's a little bit below baseline, but it's like a throbbing Where? sensation now in the left foot still. 
right leg is abolished, gone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's okay. been abolished the whole time. The whole time. So that's mm -hmm. never come. So now I've changed a constant irritation to a pulsating. Mm -hmm. And maybe a, a below baseline. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to take this out, right? Okay. I want to see you move again, okay? Yeah. Like in the sense of... It's definitely, a, you're a little more mobile mm -hmm. to twist you both ways. Ellie and I are recognizing a certain direction we're pushing your back mm -hmm. is all of a sudden making both other directions feel more mobile. Mm -hmm. In addition to your symptoms, then we obviously know we're in the right spot doing the right things, even mm -hmm. though we're getting forceful with it, okay? Because mm -hmm. I'm sure when everybody... Witnesses that video. I can't wait to put my name and number out there. <laughs> right? They'll be right? like, what I'm are gonna... they doing? Exactly. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you that's know. what we're going to get. Which I don't really... My name tech known. Don't, don't worry. I yeah, promise I'll I put it have... in the description. They are qualified. Yeah, yeah <laughs> there you go. So I, it's a problem that needs more force. Mm. It needs the force right in the right spot. It needs us to hold and get forceful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But the more we keep doing it, the more and more you keep doing it, the more lasting changes you're going to get. The simple side to this is, hey, we can teach you guys a stretch. Mm -hmm. And by doing the stretch, you can get rid of the symptoms. So you know that the symptoms were literally just trying to tell you to bend your back more. Okay. And, and the legs at that point were trying to say to the brain, uh, Lauren, crying out loud, buddy, man. Bend backwards. Is it weird that when I pick my body up, like since this left side's vibrating, if I pick my body up and sit up on it, it'll go away a little bit. Show more. me what that looks like. Like this, yeah. exactly. Then it goes way below the baseline. But what are you? But doing why is that, that, guys? Putting oh, that pressure. Yeah. Yeah. He's moving You're, the bottom up. You figured this out, right? Yeah. So you have to put the cause now, and effect together. Why do you? This work? Well, look what you do here. Well, and look at this is even more okay. forceful because we got his body weight. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, are you able to bring this hand back? What does that do? Makes you go even more down. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So we're using the bed now from the Now we're using standpoint. the bed mm -hmm. to push him bottom yeah. up. We're using his top down in his reach. You're finally getting the message that you're in the right position to abolish the legs. Mm -hmm. The legs go away when the back pain increases. Do you oh, see yeah. that connection? Mm -hmm. You do that technique or over the foam roll and she's helping you in all these ways to generate more force. And let's say it's not working. I want you to check the thoughts. All right. Check what you're feeling, what you're thinking, who are you with, where are you? Because if you move the back and it works, duh. If you move the back and it's not working, oh, you you guys got to go one step further for me. Mm -hmm. Who just came in here and pissed you off? Right. Where are you and who's not on my team, right? Because it's always social. Mm -hmm. And that social is driving and emotional. Mm -hmm. right? We found that the back's important, but we now have to figure out how to put more force into it. Two, we need you to be able to do the, the force. Right, and we need you to understand the system, what it's telling you with the, the force change. Right, and to know if like, I'm doing the force correctly. Right, and then three, we moving it after these two, we gotta keep it. So then we're gonna work on the training of the muscle groups backwards okay. so that it's easier to be in that position. And that's when we train you with that too. Okay. Just so much. But, so but is this like around the system? Yeah. time the bed popped with his neck, I thought it was his head <laughs> stopping. I was like, oh my gosh, but then I realized it was just the bed. Mm -hmm. How was that? Mm -hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. Gina, I can even advocate for you. Mm -h
it's like it's all about where are you feeling it, right? Is this enough pressure? Right. So let's hold that as much as we can. This is a good position to kind of just lean lean that and put in force mm -hmm. there into the middle. Not breaking my wrist. Yep. So could we find something right here? Push on. Yeah, because you can see how you slide forward. Mm -hmm. Reset. Put it back. <laughs> put more force. <laughs> I'm just such a weak individual. You are not. She just has this whole beat. Myself that I, what I was doing was okay. But you can see what you just did created change for the better. Um, so that when you're building your confidence in yourself knowing that this, this very interesting thing mm -hmm. is what's supposed to be helping him and it is helping him yeah. as we go. You can tell about your Yeah, you're relaxed you state. Yeah, you're very relaxed, which is very nice to see. Okay, now that you've opened this space up, I want you to lift up. I was, do you feel like you're getting higher than you were before? Uh, I agree. So that's active range of motion. Now, same thing again. Go ahead, lift up. I can push down. Don't let me. Ready? Three, two, one. Hold, 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 and relax. So now that's just increasing the amount of force. Mm -hmm. So you can sit in here and do this exercise. Lift up. Don't let me push. Hold it, 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 and relax. Right? So now you're building all this tissue so it stays into that extension of the hand. And there's stages. Recovery, maintenance, and prevention. Well, <laughs> I'm glad you got to see my face on that one. <laughs> so right now, right, we're in this recovery stage where we're getting it to go where we want it to go. You move into that maintenance zone. That's you just checking your flexibility every day. That once you're cleared to maintain it, you check it. Mm -hmm. And then in that prevention, you check it once a day. If you still have the range of motion that you know you need, you're gonna feel stuck before the pain comes. Then you do your stretches before the pain comes back.